Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many .NET developers encounter. Our viewer is working with a .NET 4.6.1 setup and has successfully integrated application insights to monitor SQL dependencies. However, they want to dig deeper. They're looking to view the actual SQL commands being executed rather than just seeing the fully qualified domain name of the SQL server. This information is crucial for identifying performance bottlenecks and optimizing queries. Let's explore how we can help them achieve this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To view the SQL commands executed in your .NET application, we need to enable detailed SQL command logging in Application Insights. Next, you will need to modify your Application Insights configuration in your .NET application. Locate the applicationinsights.config file. Now let's enable SQL command tracking specifically. You can do this by adding a setting in your applicationinsights.config file. After making these changes, rebuild your application and deploy it. You should now start seeing the SQL commands in the Application Insights portal. Finally, to analyze the performance, navigate to the Performance section in Application Insights. Here, you can view the SQL commands and their execution times. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To view SQL queries in Application Insights, the setup depends on your app type and deployment. For detailed instructions, visit the link provided. Application Insights automatically collects partial dependency information. To gather complete data, you need to install the appropriate agent for your host server. For IIS servers, install Status Monitor or upgrade to .NET Framework 4.6 and install the Application Insights SDK. For Azure Web Apps, use the Application Insights Blade to install. For Azure Cloud Services, use a startup task or install .NET Framework 4.6 or later. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.